In this quick and dirty video, we're gonna go ahead and do some Google OCR. So to start with that, I've gotta to go to Google Cloud Platform and create a project. And once I create a project, I'll create this one OCR video. Google will go ahead and set that up. Uh, it might take me to another page, but what I really need to do is head over to the uh, API and services library and from that library I need to go ahead and enable API so here's the library and I look for that cloud vision API so I can do OCR and once I enable that API I can go ahead and set up credentials so what I need here is an API key if I click create credential there's a little link up at the top that allows me to create an API key and when I click create, it gives me that key and I'm just gonna copy that to my clipboard and I'll bring that into my project. So once I'm in my project, the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the shopping cart in the upper right because there's some modules I can actually download that are already built. First is the Google OCR module. If I download that, that will bring in all of the libraries and all the information I need to just drag and drop Google OCR into my application. But you'll notice there's a bunch of errors and that's because there's another module called Community Commons which I need to download into my project. So once I have that, you'll see all my errors go away. And if I expand the project and there's an App Store modules, you'll see that in App Store modules there's my OCR library that I downloaded. I'm going to plug my API key into this API key constant And now I'm ready to rock and roll with this module. So the next step is to go into my project and add an entity. And the entity I want to add is basically an image. So I'll name it image. And then I'm going to select a generalization because under the system uh, menu, there's an image entity that's already built. And generalization basically allows you to inherit the properties of that object. So now that I've added that generalization, I have my own entity that can go ahead and accept image objects. From there, I'll go ahead and I'll click on my home page. And inside of my home page, the first thing I need to do is materialize that image object. So I'll take a data view and I'll drag that onto the canvas. And inside that data view, I'm going to create a microflow. Now, Depending on how you're doing things, you might actually use the context because you may be passing in an image object. But in my case, I just want to do this quick and dirty. So I'm going to create a microflow that creates an image. And if I show that microflow, you'll see there's the starts and endpoints. And all I need to do is click the create object action, drag it onto the line, pick that image entity that I created, and I don't need to commit or refresh at this point, but I do want to make sure that I return this. By doing this, now my data view will be populated with that image object. Now that I have that all set, I can go ahead and add some containers and I'm gonna add some CSS styling for dealing with my flex boxes so that things are positioned on the page properly. And once that's all set, I can go ahead and I can go into my widgets and do a search for image. And you'll see that there's an image uploader and an image viewer. I'm going to drag the image viewer on because I want to be able to see the image that I'm actually going to be working with and doing the OCR from. I'm just going to change some properties real quick on that. And then I'm also going to point it to the image entity that I created that's in the state of view. And now I'll also bring in the image uploader. And the image uploader just is pretty standard, goes ahead and gives you the ability to browse for a folder. And I'm gonna add a couple of microflow buttons. The first button I'm going to add is going to enable me to upload my image. And that's basically going to commit my image to the database so that I see it pop up on my screen. So I'll set that up. And then I will create another one that's going to actually do the OCR or call the OCR uh, from Google 
from that module that I created earlier. So if I go and I look at my microflows, my set image, I just need to do a commit and I'll refresh that in the client. And then for my OCR, I can actually go into the use me folder and you'll see there's an example image OCR microflow that's already built. And I can just drag that right onto the canvas and use it as a sub microflow. Specify the parameter for the image object that needs to be sent through. And if I look at that, you can see I'm encoding that image and then calling the OCR from Google. And then I'm just showing a message with texturing. So let's fire this up and take a look. If I go in and I click on browse, I'll choose my first, get this first image. If you hit the sign, you'll hit that bridge. And if I click OCR image, there you go. You see it comes back with that information. Let's try one more image. I've got this one with someone holding a I was promised donuts. If I click OCR, you can see it grabs that other sign as well, but you can see I was promised donuts. And there you have it.